The city of Avalon on the island of Catalina Island is, is a remote location, yet it's close to the mainland. So for people that get island fever, it's still close enough that they can get over there and get their shopping and their fix of their different restaurants. But the solitude out here is what people like. In a couple of seconds, they can be on the beach with thousands of people, and then half hour later, they can be up in the hills all by themselves. It's a pretty great place to be. The Harbor Department has a very strong relation with both the lifeguard paramedics and the fire department. We rely on each other heavily for safety. We are the first responders to any waterborne incidences in the harbor and just outside the harbor. The Baywatch crews here have a really, a very close working relationship with the Avalon Harbor Department. It's a pretty symbiotic relationship where most of our responsibilities on the boat is, on the, is outside of the harbor as far as marine rescue goes. Uh, when it comes to medical calls, we both work together uh, inside the harbor. I've known many of the harbormen for 25 years. William I've known really well since the days he was a shoreboat operator in the harbor. It's about as close of a working relationship as we have uh, anywhere that I can see. We were just finishing another call and we are in the squad and the harbor department called us and I could tell by the intensity of their voices that something was going all wrong and they said they needed Baywatch down in the harbor immediately. Harbor Baywatch, harbor dispatch. We need Baywatch out to the harbor immediately. We have a patrolman having a medical emergency. Yeah. What's location? At the flyer, 250, morning 250. We got a uh, person uh, stuck underneath the patrol boat. Patrol boat's capsized. Looking out the window, um, our patrol boat uh, basically go into an odd maneuver in reverse. And, and basically at that point you just realize that there's a situation aboard this boat that's not normal, not anything you see and totally out of character for the patrolman that was aboard the boat. It, I, it appeared that the patrolman slumped over near the tow post but on the side of the boat and and I, I just couldn't be sure because everything was turning around and then, then eventually I couldn't see the patrolman anymore. When I passed out, I hit the controls with my hands going down. It went full reverse. And then the boat cocks up on its back end and just digs its way in and then flips over. I was running my rows, talking to the boaters, and I heard my partner call out on the radio, Kurt, are you okay? and there was no response. And then I heard a more urgent tone in my partner's voice. And I responded with, where is he? So he told me he was out in front of the harbor. So I started making that way. And as soon as I had a line of sight, I could see his boat going in reverse full throttle with him slumping behind the wheel. It was like a a fly will say, and it just got swatted. You had no control over it. You're just glimpses of reality when you come in and out of your consciousness. I mean, it's just, you, you went out and you're fighting to get back. You're just hardwired program to survive. As I got closer, I saw the boat actually roll over. So as soon as I saw where he was and the boat rolling over, I started dropping my duty belt, taking off my glasses, taking stuff out of my pockets, dropping my radio. Pulled up alongside the boat, still doing about three, maybe four knots, and I jumped in the water. Kept one hand on the side of the boat so I had a location. Reached underneath and found him, grabbed him and pulled him out. Uh, at that point, I saw that he was awake, but not alert. When William jumps off his boat, jumps right down in front of me just like this. And he say, okay, here we are, let's get out of here, or something like that. You see the video of William jumping in the water to go into this life and death situation. And it looks like he's just hopping in a pool in Palm Springs to go for a swim or something like that. I don't even know if I would have looked that cool going into that situation. I think that really goes to the professionalism of Avalon Harbor and to William as a waterman and as a harbor patrolman that it's just, it's so impressive. And William literally pulled his boat up, 
uh, put his boat into neutral, jumped off the boat, and went underneath the boat where Kurt was trapped and pulled him out and brought him over to the dock. It, it was incredible. I mean, with all his uniform on, he had no time to change or do anything. Uh, he just went in the water and got him, you know, underneath this boat that was moving around still, the engines were on. Um, you know, just quite an amazing rescue. But at that point, we had a Good Samaritan and Inflatable. They get the victim into the inflatable. We knew Baywatch and Fire were responding. And this is that, that tight-knit group that I talk about. So and when we have that partnership with them, and th those guys responded down, and as the uh, inflatable got underway with the, with the patient, basically directed them over to Float 5, where, where we had the medics were waiting. Baywatch was there, Fire was there, and then it was an easy transfer. This particular situation, I think, highlights something really important about our work on Catalina is the ability for all of us on this island to work together uh, for a common cause. And we have an extremely close relationship with Harbor. We have an extremely close relationship with Avalon Fire Department, uh, with the Sheriff's Department, with our own Station 55. We work very closely together. I think it's a model for um, what can be done with limited resources uh, when you're far away from the mainland on what to do. And the fact that William was able to make this rescue and we were all ready to assist and just do what we had to do to rescue one of our own uh, co-workers, I think is just really highlights a very unique and special uh, way that we operate on Catalina. And I was really proud to be a part of it. William's a longtime friend, Kurt's a longtime friend. Uh, it's very meaningful to me that William is getting this award on behalf of the Avalon Harbor Department. Avalon Harbor Patrol is, is like family, so it makes perfect sense for one of them to get uh, the Lifeguard Medal of Valor. And uh, William truly deserves it. He's a stand-up guy. I mean, you see that video of him on scene, that's, he's uh, beyond a lifeguard level uh, when it comes to you know being in the water. So uh, I think we're all really proud of him. But it's a, it's a real honor and a privilege to be working with him, and he did cut this award pretty short because he retired shortly after that, a couple of days after that. He's completed a you know perfect career. So I wish him well in, in all his ventures and it's uh, I know my family and daughter are very grateful for his participation in my survival. I want to thank all my family and friends for coming to this event. Thank you very much for awarding me the Medal of Valor and for the paramedics that put my name in. I am humbly accepting this award and I won't be able to accept it in person because I'll be up in Alaska fishing. My brother and I will be enjoying a week together. And once again, thank you very much. <laughs>